Hello comrades and welcome back to the Shanka show. Today I would like to continue our conversation about Soviet leaders. In my video number 16, what Soviet people thought about comrade Leonid Brezhnev, I talked a little bit about comrade Brezhnev. And now I would like to continue this topic, but we're going to do uh, a little bit different. We're not going to go down all the way to Lenin, Stalin and Khrushchev since I didn't live there during those times. So we're going to go up and uh, the next person we will talk about is comrade Yuri Andropov, who became the leader of Soviet Union on November 12, 1982. When Leonid Brezhnev passed away on November 10, 1982, it was definitely was a quite a shock for the whole Soviet Union because he was the leader of the country for almost 20 years, from 1964 when he replaced Khrushchev till 1982 he was at the power of Soviet Union. So that was just like a part of the landscape to have a comrade Brezhnev at the uh, steering wheel of the country. So of course when he passed away it was a quite a shock. Uh, I was 11 years old that time and we had no school that day. When during the uh, funeral of uh, Brezhnev we all were gathered in the gym and watched uh, on TV uh, the funeral. So I was sad uh, because our leader died but at the same time being a kid I was quite excited that we didn't have a school that day. And uh, several days later, on uh, November 12, it was announced uh, two days later after Brezhnev death uh, that our new leader is going to be Yuri Andropov. Well, that guy was a former KGB uh, who pretty much almost 20 years was uh, running the Committee of State uh, Security Комитет государственной безопасности from 1967. So he had quite a few of uh, KGB habits. And we quite shortly started experiencing uh, new changes in uh, life in Soviet Union. Uh, the last years of Brezhnev reign uh, was called Zastoy, which you can translate as like uh, stale waters or something. So for example, if you have a creek flowing down and the branch falls across it and stops the wolf flow. That whole water kind of gets murky and stale and that's the story. So there was not much going on in Soviet Union. The economy wasn't growing fast or not growing at all. Because, you know, the reality is people work hard only under two circumstances. Or they're scared to death or they're greedy. In Soviet Union, it's a socialist system, you remove the greed from equation. So the only way to force people is to uh, have them scared of punishment to be in prison or being sent to Siberia, to labor camps, uh, which disappeared after Stalin. So during the Brezhnev era, pretty much no one cared uh, about working hard and the country was in kind of like semi-coma state. So when uh, Andropov came, he uh, implemented quite a few new changes. And you know, according to newspapers and TV, we were doing great. But in reality, we weren't doing that well, especially when it came to productivity. So uh, Comrade Andropov decided to improve productivity the KGB way. They started sending cops, well, which we call militia, militia uh, during the daytime when people are supposed to work. And remember, in Soviet Union we had the law that if you don't work without a reason for over three months, you can get imprisoned for being a parasite of society. So cops started chasing down these parasites of society, like they will go and uh, search the movie theaters in 11 o'clock in the morning, questioning people in the movie theater, why are you here instead of working? Same thing was going on in the shops, uh, in supermarkets. Well, we didn't really have supermarkets. We had Univermag, kind of like a large uh, 
store so that was pretty much the KGB style of uh, making people work and not uh, playing hooky and uh, doing something else instead of working hard at your factory or uh, other place so we even had a saying that under Brezhnev we all wear Lezhnev which means we're just laying on its side like napping and under Dropov we're all running galopam, we begam galopam, so we run like gal gal galloping style, like horses. Uh, also, uh, he started digging into corruption in the Soviet system. One of the famous things was Uzbekistan case, uh, was the giant scheme uh, of uh, with the cotton growers there. They were milking millions of rubles out of the government. And he started uh, digging into that and arresting a bunch of people. Also, the Minister of Inner Affairs, uh, after he started being investigated, he committed suicide. And his wife attempted to shoot at uh, Mr. Andropov, but uh, I'm not sure what happened. But anyway, uh, so all the country was kind of snapped back into attention. Everybody. Uh, was kind of a little bit scared <laughs> again you know it's uh, like a second Stalin came back um, but it didn't last long uh, Yuri Andropa was at power only for 15 months and uh, his uh, health rapidly deteriorated and in, on February 9 1984 he passed away so once again we had a classical music on the radio no one knew what was going on and then it was announced that uh, Comrade Andropov passed away. And once again, in less than two years, just 15 months, we had no school again. And this is kind of sad to admit, but I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. You know, if our leaders die that often, we have uh, quite a few days off. You know, like in America, you guys have a snow day when there is too much snow. And we had a comrade uh, leader died day in Soviet Union and while we're on the topic of uh, days off in school then several days later it was announced that the new leader of the Soviet Union will be Konstantin Chernenko and he looked very old and I remember I okay I have to admit it because it's kind of funny but it's not funny when I saw a picture of uh, Konstantin Chernenko and he looked so old as like Oh, hell yeah, we're going to have another day off coming up soon. So, yep, so Andropov wasn't at power for too long. And right now in Russia, there's actual discussion that maybe he was the person who could save Soviet Union from collapse. Uh, he could be um, like a new Stalin or maybe like a Chinese leader. Uh, who saved China from uh, following uh, steps of Soviet Union and adapt to the new reality. Um, also interesting fact, uh, Andropa was the guy who sent away uh, Solzhenitsyn, a famous writer. Uh, he didn't want to send him to Siberia, he just uh, exiled him to the West. Uh, also his son from the first marriage, Vladimir, uh, was alcoholic and actually he ended up uh, going to jail for some criminal activities and his father pretty much uh, turned away from him and even didn't come to his funeral. And also if somebody remembers Professor Sakharov, uh, he, uh, he was a famous nuclear scientist in Soviet Union and dissident. Andropov, even being a KGB, he didn't let uh, uh, Sakharov to go to jail. So still rumors going on why uh, Andropov died so soon because uh, he looked pretty healthy but I heard of course it's rumors that he got shot again and this time successfully in his liver uh, and the reason was his uh, corruption investigations and people wanted to stop and uh, but it's only rumors I couldn't find any confirmation. So here you go, there's my story about uh, Yuri Andropov, uh, the second leader that uh, was uh, 
running the country after I was born in 1971. And next story about a uh, really short story about Konstantin Chernyanka. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much for your feedback and for your comments. До свидания. Goodbye. Hey, by the way, the cool merch for cool comrades is available at the Ushanka store at teespring.com. Just a friendly reminder that my book American Diaries is available on Amazon.com or shoot me an email if you would like to have a signed copy. Thank you. And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Ushanka show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union.